Hey everyone, Corvus here and welcome to this video which I will give you three tips on how to improve the speed of your painting without losing any quality. So the first tip is batch painting the details. A batch painting is thought to be quicker than just painting the miniatures one by one. That's true, but I think the most time is gained by painting on details. So if you're, for example, base coating uh, 10 miniatures in one batch, there's not going to be that much difference between uh, painting 10 miniatures, base coating these 10 miniatures in one go or doing two of them and then the next evening two other. If you count all these up that will not be that much uh, time gained when doing the 10 of uh, 10 in one, one go. Um, but why is that? That's because just taking the paint from the from the bottle and then thinning it a bit and that only takes what is it, 30 seconds or something and base coating an entire miniature takes a couple of minutes for example um, so the time you spend there uh, mixing and preparing your paint is, is proportionally less than um, than painting it on on the other hand if you're applying details uh, for example uh, a gem a gemstone or uh, a lens or a purity seal for that matter if you're painting uh, space marines um, then you can really gain some time by uh, by doing this in, in batches um, because if you're painting details, yeah, you're going to apply the first paint, then you're going to shade, then you're going to highlight, and all these small steps, all these mix, in all this, these small steps, the mixing of the paint will be almost take as almost as much time as applying the paint itself. So doing just the details in one go for ten miniatures, for example, uh, something that I th I think is uh, can really can really give your uh, painting a boost. And I'll give you an example of 10, uh, but for example, if you, uh, for me, I like painting 6 or 12, uh, somewhere between 6 and 12 miniatures in one batch. Uh, but if you're just doing, for example, batches of 6, just doing the base coat and giving the rough colors and then applying details on several of these batches. So for example, if you have painted 4 batches of 6, mostly done except for the details and you're going in for the final details on the 24 final miniatures, yeah, they really gain, uh, gain a lot of speed there. So second tip uh, is something that's different for every person, but I can only give my advice on this is that uh, you really gain a lot of um, time by assembling the miniatures up front completely. So some people say uh, if you if you paint, uh, if you're assembling your miniatures up front completely, then you're not able to reach all areas, etc, etc. That's true, but we're still talking about gaming miniatures here. And usually if you can't reach it with a paintbrush, then you can also... Uh, probably not see it or see it very well. Uh, so an example here I have is the my Lord Executioner. It's another of these typical uh, complex GW sculpts, and this one I, I assembled completely before before painting him. Um, there were some problem areas. So for example, the the inside of the cloak uh, here, the inside, uh, and then the rib cage and the backbone. But what I usually do is before I start uh, start working on the details, just take the base coat, for example, of the rib cage, and just go in, put my paintbrush in there as deep as I can go uh, to reach those details, and don't really worry that much about uh, highlighting and shading these uh, like I would with these details like I would with the rest of the of the model. Just be sure that there's a bit of base coat on there that you get an impression that it has the color, but otherwise, yeah, don't really worry about that. You will gain a lot of time. Um, by painting it in one go. Uh, the other option is that you, yeah, for example, uh, with, um, uh, with a space marine that's a bit less complex. You have these two arms that are holding a bolter. I see a lot of people, what I did in the past also, is painting these arms and the gun separately and then sticking them on afterwards, which is quite okay with a miniature like a space marine. Uh, but on the other hand, like this, this part here, how you're going to how you are going to glue on half of this if you already painted this one and then glue on this and then you will lose a lot of time applying paint here again because you will see where you have glued it down etc. So you're you're getting in a lot of trouble there. My advice is just to go. Don't worry too much about the final result. There it will be okay. Uh, just assemble everything in one go and then paint the entire model. So third and final tip is limit your palette. What I mean by that is. Uh, Sometimes if you have a miniature with a lot of detail on there, you get the, the, the urge to paint every detail in a separate color. So with fancy miniatures, you 
quite often have they see that they have a lot of belts there and little bags pouches and whatnot a lot of details on there and yeah then you start looking at, at your paints so or three three four different types of colors of brown that you're going to use and in the end it probably won't look that good as well it will not look realistic so what i usually do for example with this, this example of a, of a fantasy miniature is just take one color for all the belts and then take one color for most of the pouches and maybe there's some uh, little little pouch there with, which you know yeah there's maybe a magical item in there something special paint that one in a different color but not go for every pouch every detail uh, in a different a different color it will save you a lot of time so that were the three tips on how to improve the painting speed without losing the quality if you have any of those tips as well i'd like to know them please post them in the comment section and otherwise give me a thumbs up it really helps me with the videos see you in the next video bye